Hi guys, welcome to my newest tutorial. This is for the crochet floral halter top, so let's begin. You're going to need a 4.25 crochet hook and a 2.75 crochet hook. The 2.75 one is actually optional. The only reason why I chose a smaller hook for the rest of my top is because the holes don't get as big as using the 4.25 one. So this step is totally optional. If you want to use the bigger hook throughout the entire video, you totally can. To start off, you're going to be choosing your first color. This will be the same color you want the majority of your top to be. So as you can see here, I chose white. Starting with your bigger crochet hook, you are going to make a slip knot and chain up five times. And then you're going to slip stitch into that very first chain that you have made right here. Now you see we've created this donut looking hole. And from here on, you're going to work your stitches directly into that space. So you're going to chain up one and single crochet directly into that space. So there's your first single crochet. You're going to make nine more single crochets all directly into that one space. So you have a total of 10 single crochets at the very end. Now that I have finished my 10 single crochets, I'm going to slip stitch into that very first chain that we had made in the previous beginning, right back at the same start of the circle. Now you're going to chain up four and do a triple crochet into that same exact stitch. So you're going to wrap your yarn around twice and insert it into the space. Then you're going to pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through the first two loops only, yarn over again and pull through the second two loops, yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. Then you're going to chain one and do two more triple crochets into the next stitch. So here's your first triple crochet, and do another triple crochet into that same exact stitch. And repeat, chain one, and do two triple crochets into the next stitch. Then you're just going to repeat, chain one again, and do two triple crochets into the next stitch. So you're going to be repeating that throughout all 10 stitches that you have made. And you'll start to notice that there are little clusters of two triple crochets with a chain one in between. So here's one, two, three little clusters. And you're going to do that all the way around, and I will meet you guys at the end. So far, you should have 10 little clusters of triple crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which is that last one. And to connect this all together, you are just going to chain one and count up four from the base. So one, two, three, four. And on that fourth stitch, you are going to slip stitch into that. So you are going to slip stitch and fasten off because for now you are done with this. So now you're going to insert your yarn into any of the chain one spaces in between every two triple crochets. So here's one of my chain one spaces. You can choose any. And you are going to pull your yarn through. And I just like to make a double knot 
there's so many different ways to do it, but this is the easiest way for me. So just make a double knot in any of the chain one spaces and insert your hook back through. And you're going to chain up three. And now you're going to single crochet into every single chain one space in between the clusters. So here's one chain one space and I'm going to single crochet directly into that huge space. And repeat, chain three, and single crochet into the next chain one space. You can tell where the chain one spaces are because they are after two triple crochets. So there's two triple crochets, and into that chain one space you're going to single crochet. And I will meet you back at the very end of the circle. When you've reached your end, you're simply going to slip stitch into the first single crochet you made at the beginning of your circle. Now you're going to chain up six. And you're simply going to single crochet in every single crochet you made on top of the chain one space. So here's one single crochet, and I just single crochet on top of that one. And repeat, chain up six. And single crochet on top of every single single crochet that you see. And once you're done with that, I'll meet you back at the end of the circle. To complete the circle, you're simply going to slip stitch into, again, the very first single crochet that you have made. And you're, at this point, going to fasten off and choose the third color. You are now going to choose your third and final color, and this is going to be the same color as the border of your entire tank top. So choose that, and I'll meet you back to start. Now that you have your third color, you are going to double knot it into any of the chain six loops, whichever one you want. So now you are going to chain up four. And you're going to do a triple crochet right into that loop. So for now, you should have a total of two triple crochets and do one more triple crochet so that you have a total of three triple crochets. Then you're going to chain one. And you're going to do three more triple crochets all into that same loop. So here's my first triple crochet. My second. And my third. So in every other chain six loop, you should have this triple crochet band, which is three triple crochets, chain one, and three triple crochets. Now you're going to chain up three, and you're going to single crochet into the next chain six loop. And now you're going to chain three again, and do your triple crochet band onto your next loop, which is three triple crochets, chain one, and three triple crochets. Then again, you're going to chain three and single crochet into the next loop. And you're going to repeat this pattern all throughout the entire circle and I'll show you what it should look like along the process. 
To break it down for you, you're going to do your three triple crochet, chain one, three triple crochet in one of the loops. And then you're going to do chain three and single crochet into the next loop and then chain three again. And then do your triple crochet fan. And you're just going to repeat this entire thing until the very end of the circle. Once you're at the end, you are going to slip stitch into the fourth stitch from the base. And then you're going to fasten off and from now on we are going to be working with the first color you started off with. Now taking your first color, you have to double knot it onto any of the single crochets that you made in the middle of your loops like so. So you're going to pull your hook through the middle of the single crochet and you're going to chain one. And you are going to single crochet four times into that large space. So into that chain three space we made, you're going to single crochet four times. So that's the third one and your fourth single crochet. So now we're going to single crochet into the next two triple crochets. We are going to omit the first triple crochet and go right into the top of the second triple crochet. And then you're going to single crochet again into the next one. And then single crochet into that chain one space. Now you're going to chain up three. And you're going to single crochet back into that chain one space. This is going to create a little corner for your pentagon. And then you're going to single crochet onto the next two triple crochets. So one single crochet and then the second one. And repeat. So do four single crochets into the next chain three space into that big loop. And then once you reach the middle single crochet, you're just going to single crochet right into that as well. Basically going to repeat that entire sequence, so you're going to chain 4 in that chain 3 space, so chain 4, and then you're going to single crochet into the next two triple crochets that you see right there. So once you single crochet the next two, you're going to single crochet into that chain one space to make your corner. So single crochet and then chain up three and single crochet back into that same chain one space. And then again, do two single crochets into the two consecutive triple crochet. And repeat. So now you have, once again, have your four single crochets and you're just going to do that all the way around until you've reached the end. To explain once more, just so you guys get it, in those chain three spaces where my finger is, you're going to chain single crochet four times, then single crochet to the middle and then single crochet four times again, do two consecutive single crochets and then once more inside the chain one space where you chain three and then single crochet back into that same spot and you're just going to repeat that. This is what your finished product should look like and you are going to choose any of the five corners you have made. So while still using your big hook, you're going to make a slip knot, insert your bigger hook into it and choose any of the five corners and insert it into the first chain of any corner. So as you can see here, I'm going to insert it, insert my hook into the first chain with a slip stitch. 
and I'm going to proceed to chain one and single crochet onto the next stitch. And I'm going to continue to single crochet all the way down this row until I've reached the next corner. And I will meet you back down when I've finished this row onto the next corner. So here I am approaching the next corner of my pentagon. And I'm going to just single crochet right before the stitch and into that corner you are going to do two single crochets. So there's one single crochet and then two single crochet. And then you're going to chain up two and then do two more single crochets all into that one corner. And after that you're just going to proceed to single crochet along the other side until you've reached the other corner. So at this point, all the single crochets you're making should form a V shape. So this is what your finished product should look like at this point. As you can see, you have the single crochets on only two sides of your pentagon that is forming a V shape. And from here on out, we're going to be working on the actual body of the top. And I will meet you guys at part two.